Well, it's hard to believe, but it is Unit 12 time. This is Mrs. Duncan, your English 102 online instructor. You've made it this far, which says a lot. And you are about to turn in this week uh, the final draft of Essay 4, which is your Comparison Contrast Essay. So hopefully by now uh, you have looked at uh, my feedback on your draft, okay? So if you're watching this early, you know you'll get it back pretty quick, pretty early in the week. Um, I give it priority on the Monday uh, of the school week and take a look at those as, and uh, first thing. So let's take a look. Notice that this one says Unit 12 Research Part 1. And uh, I don't know how much you have looked ahead on the assignment calendar or uh, the essay assignments that are listed in there, uh, but the fifth essay is a research-based essay. It's very important because you uh, this is the last class to teach you, go through the steps, teach you how to do a research paper for all of your other classes. By now you probably have had some classes that required research papers and hopefully um, you know you learned some about that in English 101. I know if you had me and a couple of you have had, you, you did go through that process. Um, it's also part of English 102. So let's take a look. These overlap, okay, you're finishing up uh, Essay 4 and starting your research for Essay 5. But if you look here at the to-do list, it looks long, but notice what's missing. There is no quiz, and there is no discussion, and the assignments are really just two, okay? Uh, it's this finishing up, you know, the draft of Essay 4, which you have already worked on, right? You're just needing to see what... Uh, I tell you you need to change. Of course you have to finish it so it's 750 words at least. Okay, so you're wrapping that up. Then you've got to, um, you know, get ready for the research. you got to do your research really. Okay, so it's not that these are necessarily exact order because hopefully, you know, you're watching your instructional video now. Uh, there's a chapter to read about using sources in your writing. Literature uh, classes use it in a particular way and after 102 you're going to have at least one, maybe two literature, 200 level literature courses to take that require uh, citing literature, okay, that not just the, the book itself or the short story or the play, but outside sources. And you won't get the instruction on how to do it in those courses because this is when you get that instruction. So don't skip any steps. Go through, watch the instructional videos and uh, go through that process, okay. Some of these things won't make sense unless you read the other materials. It's supposed to be that way. You. Uh, there's you know instructions we're going to look at how to get your research prompt uh, for your topic and this is really important use the databases to find two articles that respond to one of the prompts so your first assignment is to get that topic story selection and find the two database articles that are about that topic on your story okay and if you haven't used a database before really you need to perk up um, and find out what that is. Okay, I'm going to start in with the assignment about the databases in the in SA5. Of course, remember to turn your draft in. Um, I don't even have a peer review assigned this week. How about that? That's, that's how much I'm prioritizing the fact that you need to really tweak up this essay and make it good. And uh, then uh, get this um, research paper underway. Okay. All right, you will select the research topic from the prompts listed below. We'll come down to those. Select two research articles from. Now I give you an option of a couple other ones, but you really need to start with Gale's Literature Resource Center. It's an online database in the library website. Okay, then you're going to post those selections, those two articles, uh, to the assignment drop box, your topic and your sources. Okay. All right. So what you're writing is an original. That means you. This is you've never written it before. No one has written it for you. You didn't find it somewhere. You're writing your own five paragraph. We're kind of calling it an exploratory research essay because it's not like an argument yet. It's not that you're you're asserting an interpretation per se, and then supporting it with research. Um, this is more exploratory. That is intended for you to build on the knowledge that you've gained from the study of one of the stories assigned. So we've already looked at these stories and we've gone basic uh, 
literary analysis with particular focus. Right, we focused in um, on theme for A Rocking Horse Winter. Of course, we know that the other stories have themes as well. Uh, we looked at basic main themes. Uh, there are others, you know, as well. We looked at basic uh, character analysis, a little bit of, you know, dynamic versus uh, static, flat, and round, a little bit of that, things like that that are very basic literary analysis one or two. But there is a lot more that's been written about uh, these um, stories, and that's where you're going to go in a little deeper. Okay, so you've got to have uh, you've got to have that research has got to come from our databases primarily. You've got to have at least two. Okay, you could have some more, but uh, you've got to have two from the databases. That's really important. Start out with Gale's Literature Resource Center because it's all about literature, but there you might be able to find some things on Academic Search Premier or Academic One File, some of those general academic databases that we have um, on the library website. But internet sources like Wikipedia and SparkNotes are not acceptable sources for a college research paper. Okay, there's a lot of reasons for that. One is just the quality, uh, the, the lack of being able to verify Wikipedia as being um, reliable. Okay, SparkNotes is very high school and very basic. We've already done a basic overview. Okay, I don't want a rehash of that. I want something that's more scholastic and academic. Okay, I don't know that I have any articles posted right now on Blackboard. Sometimes I've had them in the past. Um, but here's a key thing. You've got to write about a topic or a story that you have not written about for a previous essay. Now what I will allow you to do, okay, um, like you could write on Rocking Horse Winter, but you can't write on theme or the same theme that you already wrote about, okay. Uh, if you like Rocking Horse Winter, then write about something else in its symbols. If you um, you could do a theme on dollhouse or you could do you know something something else uh, than what you already wrote about okay you can't if you do uh, symbols for say your comparison contrast on those two stories then you can't do that all right it's got to be different uh, obviously we're going to do a story that you've already read okay but it has to have a different focus I don't want a rerun of something you already wrote about okay and so I'm um, it's pretty wide open on terms of you know it could be point of view or theme or character analysis, settings, symbols, conflicts. If you understand irony well enough and read the you know, plot arrangement, conflict analysis, as, uh, as long as it's any scholarly focus that you haven't you know, already written about. Okay? If you have a question about that, let me know. Now, there is uh, stuff in your book that you know, goes over this. So that's uh, Exploratory Research Assignment, Chapter 6, pages 83 to 92, has a sample a research supported essay on pages 92 to 96 and since you have to cite your research and you have to document it you're going to want to take a look at that um, that sample and kind of it goes through the process especially if you haven't done a research paper for me before okay um, whatever you did in high school is probably not going to be you know enough and the same and then chapter 7 has more things on documenting and citing sources so you have a lot of resources I've put uh, videos in um, in our video section and I'll be taking you through the different steps right now you've got to pick your focus and then find your your sources we'll talk about documenting later don't want to get ahead of ourselves um, Rose for Emily is not in our list so sorry I should take get that out I will take that out but what are other symbols that you do well to use in the story worn path listen there are a lot of symbols there so uh, that's a good one. Um, as long as you didn't, you haven't written anything about it before, which I don't think you were asked to do. Uh, there are a lot of symbols there, so that's a good one. Other interpretations of a rocking horse winner, things that beyond the obvious of you know greed and luck. There's some other interpretations, some things maybe written about dollhouse that you haven't thought about or we didn't talk, really talk about, or the historical more on the historical context for everyday use. You know, but, but you're not limited to that. You can start with, here's the other option, open-ended. One of our stories that we read that was assigned that interests you and see what literary scholars in the databases have to say about it that you did not know. And try to get something that kind of fits together and is tied together, okay? Not just random um, things, but uh, <clears throat> you know, connect them somehow, all right? So what do I want? I want the story and what your topic focus is going to be. Is it going to be themes? 
in Dollhouse or symbols in uh, Worn Path or something, whatever it is, or, or historical context for, say, a dollhouse or something. I, I need to know what that what you've selected and then the two specific database articles that uh, you're going to use. Now I have, let's give me a second here to go into our videos a little bit to kind of see. I've got videos on how to use these database databases, okay, <clears throat> especially if you've never used them and you've probably never used them for literature papers. Even though we didn't publish these from our library, we use this. Um, <clears throat> so it's got, they're very short, okay? It's about how to use basic search, but I recommend that you use advanced search. But start with basic, and basic, uh, I think, well, unless it only gives you one, one option, you're going to need two. You're going to need to type in the name of the story, like Rocking Horse Winner, and the author's name, D.H. Lawrence, okay? If you don't spell it right, though, it's going to come up with nothing, so... You've got to make sure that <clears throat> you type it in correctly. So look at your book and make sure you type it in right. Then article, once you get the articles coming up, kind of what that looks like, you know, how do you find things, what they are. It's very, very important, if, especially if you haven't used these before. Let me take you to Lawson's, uh, to our website and where the databases are. Okay. All right, so this is our home page. And I don't know if you've ever accessed the library this way, but it's down here, Library Services. And then right here on the left, it says Databases and E-Resources. So there's our word, Databases. Pretty simple. Okay. If you're curious about databases and why you need them, there's a little tutorial you can click on there. Um, I've already given you a name. They're alphabetical. Okay, you could scroll down. The first ones with A that I mentioned, Academic One File, Academic Search Premier, may have some things for literature. Okay, but you want to go with the data. Databases are like warehouses for, and some of them are very general. Like these are the Lowe's and Home Depot, you know, warehouses of uh, articles from journals and other academic sources. Okay, but some are specific, like. Uh, well, this, well, let's see, where is it? There's one on automotive, but I'm not seeing it. Did it go? It's, is it gone? Wow. Well, there's one for culinary arts. There's one for communications. There's some for business. And it gives you access to things that you would otherwise need a paid subscription for, whether it be newspapers or journals or articles. All right, so we said it was Gale's Literature Resource Center. Well, let's try, I think we're going to need to try the L. Yeah, there it is, because Gale is the just the uh, basically the publisher or the 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 warehouse. EBSCO is a major warehouse. Gale's a major web house for uh, warehouse for these. All right, literature resources. There it is. Click on that. So basically, we only have a couple clicks, and then you can watch those videos to see how how you can use it. You can try typing something in. I'm going to type in a uh, stories. A story that is in our book, but we didn't read. Okay, good. Nice. You know what this is doing? Something I didn't used to do. Yes, we want the short story. So, and we want documents with full text. And we're just going to keep everything open here. That's being in keywords. Okay. So what we find out is there are 20 pieces of literature criticism. That's primarily where I want you to, to get articles from. Uh, two topic and work overviews. Mm, only use those if they tell you things that we didn't study. Okay, we don't need the primary source because that's a copy of the actual story. Okay, so you can kind of tell a little bit from the uh, titles. Okay, now this one's the Snows of Kilimanjaro, and the reason it's mentioned is it mentions hills like White Elephant, so that might not be really good. Uh, absinthe is a drink that's in there and they're talking about if you look at this they're talking about the symbolism of it irony um, so if you can recognize some of those focus words that will that will help you metaphor that one you would have to read to kind of figure out what that is there's an overview um, white elephants are a symbol so you're going to be dealing with a story that you're somewhat familiar with okay and that's when you go in and you go, okay, I know a little, I know a little bit about Rocking Horse Winter. I know a little bit about Dollhouse. I know a little bit about 
a worn path and you type those in and see what comes up and what you want is now listen you can have more but you have to